Good morning. Welcome to Install Automation Limited at the NEC in Birmingham. I've been asked by many people attending the show what a rack is and what we use it for. As soon as people see it on the stand, the first thing they say is, do we really need all of that? Well, yes you do. Most of the equipment that we've got within the rack would normally be hidden underneath your lounge television with a massive cables and then spread around the rest of the property. What we've actually got here is all of that stuff that would normally be in the lounge, in your kitchen, bedrooms and other areas, centralised and then shared around the entire property. Just running through the various components that we've actually got, you've got a matrix switch at the top which allows you to power individual items on and off very easily. I'm sure you've all experienced that skybox freeze up before, so the idea with this is that you can just power cycle that very easily, it's always labelled and you can just switch it on and off. Below that we have a network switch, obviously with this number of components inside a rack you're going to need quite a lot of network points, so the idea with this is it allows you to connect all those devices that are now smart, like an Amazon Fire, Xbox, Playstation and your skyboxes very easily into the network switch. One thing that's very important in a, in a, in a close space is the cooling. So across here we have four cooling temperature gauges and this shows us the temperature of the particular component and these are connected to fans that allow you to cool those, those elements very easily if they reach a specific temperature. So a temperature range will be set on these objects and then as soon as it reaches that range it will turn the fans on close to that. They're from Coolrax, I think, coolrax.com. Below that we have probably the most intelligent part of the system which is the Wirestorm Inardo controller. This is a very clever box that provides a wrapper around all of the devices in here, a bit like a multi-remote and this saves you from having to have 12 or 14, 15, 16 different remotes in the property and it gives you that integration with your phone or tablet to allow you to easily control all of the items and switch them to the various screens within the house. Carrying on down the rack we have a wire store matrix. Now what's a matrix? Another word that probably many of you don't understand. The idea with this is to allow you to put multiple devices, such as a couple of sky boxes, that Xbox, the PlayStation, CCTV, into this rack and then share them to a certain number of televisions. So it could be four TVs, six or eight, and this handles all of that. So it would allow you to take your Sky 4K feed and run it in more than one room at 4K. Carrying on through, we have a Yamaha AV amplifier. These are fabulous for connecting up to ceiling speakers. They allow you to airplay music straight to the speakers in whatever your room you're in. And if you're having a party, you can easily link them all together. With the Yamaha equipment, the sound bars and the AV receivers also work extremely well together. Carry on down, we have a couple of Freeview boxes. These could easily be Sky boxes, Virgin Cable or BT Vision. Your, your old school PS3. We've had this particular beast for about five or six years and surprisingly it still plays Blu-rays and we can still control it. Xbox One S which is great for playing those Ultra HD videos and this can also be networked and matrixed around the entire property. So if you had this downstairs in a games room we could actually link this into the matrix and allow you to use it for playing Ultra HD movies or even using those clever apps that are attached to it and even adding Sky as a function to this particular box. Then we've got a CCTV system and down at the bottom we have a Roku 4, that's a 4K switcher, I think you'll see that probably coming from Sky in the future, that may well be the equivalent of the Sky 4K Mini and an Apple 4K box as well. So that will be utilised and used to switch all of those things that you purchased on iTunes. And down the bottom, if you're in an area that requires it, we have a UPS, that's an uninterruptible power supply. So basically, if the power is interrupted for 5 or 10 minutes, it will keep the rack running and then make sure that there isn't any damage. So that's just a quick run through of the rack that we have on display. As you can see, it's uh, pretty detailed, very inclusive, but the great thing with this is it allows you to hide all that technology out the way and share it to every room. Thank you very much.